Good evening, mankind. It's Friday. And that is 3D.Game Heroes. Another great uh, role-playing RPG kind of game. Very Zelda-y. Original Zelda-y. With large swords. You know me, I love those old swords, those big old swords. And no, that's not a euphemism. I can't believe it's Friday already. You're also not going to be uh, believe something else. Um, whoa! Here we go. Wait, get in the corner! Fucking logos, man. That's right! Green pitfall shirt, it's a uh, floating head and disembodied limb man cast tonight for Friday. And I am looking haggard and grizzled. I'm looking graggled or hizzled. <laughs> I'm looking quite hizzled. Um, M&M's. Mmm, Tyler. I hope they're peanut butter. The peanut butter M&M's are my favorite. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Indeed! Wiley Rook, hello. Tonesville 40, hello. Up Warrior. <laughs> What's... What's up, Up Warrior? Um... <laughs> Sitley, I dream one day of being black enough to be hizzled. Um... Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. Good evening, everybody. Um, we're just getting warmed up here today. I had just enough time to tweet a bit and uh, see what's going on uh, out on the internet. And drink some coffee. Um, tonight! Yes! First of all, let me just say sorry about uh, yesterday. <laughs> I proceed to, you know, to, to, to tweet about uh, there not being a cast. Come on, 3D Dot Game Heroes. It's a very loud soundtrack. Um, I'm good! Anjiho, what's going on? Uh, I'm doing very good. Um, still trying to get going today. Uh, I just blanked. Anyway, yeah, sorry about yesterday. I, um... Proceed to say that I'm gonna skip the cast because I have so much to do. And yesterday was such a beautiful day. I watched as much of uh, Chatia's special mournless birthday cast as I could. Then we got an item uh, in the mail. I had to put that together. Uh, it was the wondrous Poopy Palace for uh, Prince Poopy, our cat Martin, uh, which he proceeded to uh, to play around on for about. I'm gonna say about 30 seconds. He was sitting on it for a while. Um, I think what it is is we don't hang out in the living room a whole lot. And so he always has to be around people. Even though he's got this bubble that's, you know, like he's got like a 20 foot radius where like he just, He's like, don't touch him! But he needs to be, you know, in the vicinity of people. Um, and yes, he, uh... He's, I think he's spent a grand total of like maybe... F I, I couldn't even say five minutes. I'm gonna say, like, two minutes. So, uh, I guess the building of it was a success, but as for, you know, what Martin thinks of it, he, he could give a shit. He, I, in fact, no, he could not give a shit. Means nothing to say one could give a shit. Um... I know! Sitley, that's so awesome! Uh, yeah, Mojang, they're doing their Humble Bundle uh, live stream tonight. I'm sure uh, I'm going to be volleying for, you know, the viewer count is probably going to bounce back and forth a little bit, you know, as people get interested in what I'm doing over here. People are going to be looking to see, you know, what Swedish people do while they make video games. Um, <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, but yes, Mojang, of course, uh, the developers, well, the company that uh, Notch put together, I think, after he made Minecraft, because Notch pretty much made Minecraft himself, but, uh, anyway, uh, Mojang is Notch's, uh, video game development company, and they right now are doing a live video game, uh, stream, or, <laughs> video game stream, live cast of them, uh, developing a game that was, what kind of game is it again? It's like a, it, it was, they took, uh, requests, like, as to what kind of, uh, game they were, or, you know, they wanted uh, the, the, the people wanted them to make. So they're making like a real-time strategy 
shoot them up uh, with like steampunk and Egyptian themes. Sounds simple enough. And they got to do that in, uh, I think they get 60 hours. I could be wrong. Over the weekend. They basically get the weekend to make the game. Then uh, they're going to sell it as a bundle. It's going to be like whatever, the Mojang bundle. Did this soundtrack just get like louder again? I think it did. It got a lot more exciting. Um, let me get, let, let's get, let's get in the, the mood here for, for because we're, we are going to get into Skyrim, I swear. And Carnage! It's the dick bump game, yes! Gotta bump dicks. Dicks are like magnets, and, um... <laughs> the two... It just depends on, like, what kind of dicks you have. Like, you could have, like, a, whatever, a, a north dick, and the other guy has a south dick, and then they'll just bump right into each other. You could have, like, a north and a north dick, and then, like, you know, they don't really want to bump. Uh, it's a little harder to bump dicks when you got, like, two of the same kind of dicks. Anyway, um... How do the magnets? Yes! So, uh, they are like magnets. How do they work? Uh, where is, um... Let's get some, some... Let's calm down. Okay. It's Friday. It's time to chill. <laughs> That's what you want to hear, right? It's the old man cast! Friday... We just need to quiet down, okay? Sip some coffee, and uh, we'll we'll do some Sudoku puzzles here in a bit. And John uh, Carnitas, <laughs> dick bumping is a true art. Um, and my yes, my Xbox is on. Uh, well, there's a reason for that. I shut it off, and I had to switch over my controller, so I had to have the controller on. Of course, hitting that big old X button turns on the console. I had no time, <laughs> again, because I really, really want to make sure that something is live on the screen by the time uh, 8 p.m. Eastern rolls, rolls around. Yeah, prune juice. <laughs> there is. There's a secret message on my shirt. It's a little hard to see. Well, this could probably... That'll help you out. God, you can't see anything. It's just like... It's like Nyan, dude. Nyan adventurer! Actually, it's like Nyan Harry. There you go. Nyan Harry is swinging over the vine, swinging over the uh, the alligator heads with the vine. Anyway, nipple cake. I am a small. I'm a. I play a small role in that. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, oh, and then there's also the. Um, so uh, we've got the Mojang humble bundle uh, cast going on. Is that the tenderloin? <laughs> I don't know. I can't wait to experience the Tenderloin. I hope I make it out alive. That's that's my only uh, hope there. Pit Trip Runner. Phalanx. That was good. That was really good. Because I, I think that's totally... Uh, I, I think they totally were inspired by Pitfall. Especially on like their uh, the bonus levels. Although it reminds me a little bit more of uh, Jungle Hunt. Was that what it was? Jungle Hunt? I don't remember. NANI! NANDATA! <laughs> That's what the anime. I haven't watched anime in, like, years. That's how you know you're old. I don't watch anime anymore. Um, NSFW. Yes, yeah, so this Tuesday, I'm going to be on NSFW with Brian Brushwood. Um, I'm so glad that horror isn't here so he can shit all over that. Uh, every time I mention the show, he's just like, Oh, it's a shitty show! Like, thanks, horror. I appreciate that. Thanks for just shitting all over that. Um... Elwoodan! But yes, I will be there. That's on uh, the Twit network. That's at twit.tv. T-W-I-T dot TV. Um, the magic guy, yes! The magician, yes. Brian Brushwood, uh, he also hosts uh, uh, Scam School and a number of other web series. He's just like all over the place. Yes, I'm going to be on his his uh, show that he does for on the Twit network uh, called NSFW, which is nominally safe for work they've told me or I've, I've checked out their wiki and they uh, they uh, 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 they try and keep it PG so I'm gonna I'm gonna rein myself in which I can do so easily you just you rein it in turn on the the man sensor and uh, we'll get through it that way <clears throat> hey Sanyix I don't see sorry that's a funny thing I cast a twitch.tv he does his live thing over at twit.tv. It's going to be really easy to uh, get those confused. 
Ron Ma half. Whoa, Brownie, you are old. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, of course. Brownie is a young, sexy, vibrant uh, woman. Um, we should do mail sack. I think I'm going to skip it. I, sh I feel like we just want to get into the game, right? Um, Fatal Fury, the motion picture was my jam! I don't think I ever saw it. I only played Fatal Fury. And even then, I think it was just the shitty... Uh, well, I played on the Neo Geo, I think, a couple times. Um, but I, pl I played... I remember playing the Sega Genesis version. Rising up! Um... Send a tweet on Twitter that man from twitch.tv is going to be on Twit. I know, it's like twit 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 twatter. And there's a twatter, there is a twatter.com. I, I swear it's like, uh, it's like Twitter, it's like a porn Twitter. Glad they filled that niche. I still, I still like to say niche. It's a niche. You know, I, I have my niche, uh, whatever broadcast over here. Apparently, it's pronounced niche. And, uh, and I don't like that. It is. It's weird. Moist. What's the point of Twitter? I have no idea. But it does exist. Good evening, Cornera. Yeah, glad they filled that. Niche. <laughs> what am I doing here? Filling something. Um... I do have a YouTube channel. It is pathetic. I have not uploaded anything to my YouTube channel in forever. It's really just sort of like there to uh, stake my claim, I guess. Um, for sopping. <laughs> That's a bit much. Moist is, you know, despite what a what a shiver-inducing word it is for me. Uh, sopping is that's uh, no. I don't think I want anything sopping. Except maybe, like, my breadstick. After I dip it in the Zupa. At Olive Garden. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nice effects, bro. Pity. We're all about professional floating head uh, broadcast here. With the green screen shadow, as you can see. That's, that's nice. <sighs> um. Breadstick. Would you like a bite of my... Sopping wet breadstick. I just pulled it out of the Zupa. Spicy as fuck. L um, well, let me, uh, noosh! Sopping is pretty gross. I, sopping instantly, I think of, uh, like a mop. Like you pull a mop out of the bucket and then you gotta wring it. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Uh, let's go to the starred. Let me just say one thing. I worked with Brian Castleberry. Brian uh, from uh, Substance... Well, it, it, Substance TV. I almost said Substance.TV. It's uh, Substance... This is his website. Sub Substance-TV.com. Uh, and then if you go there, he also has uh, his own company. His actual uh, graphic design company uh, is called uh, Brick Creative. And, you, and there's a link on there, a pretty prominent link. So you can check that out. But uh, finally, uh, we had a great... Um, collab session we uh, got together talked about things and we finalized we've got the new logo finalized it's done it's a done deal uh, we, right now we're working on getting like t-shirts made up and uh, Brian is actually gonna help me uh, help us Tonathan and myself uh, get you know like some business cards put together and we are going to get those ready for GDC so that we can just blast the MVG brand all over GDC and just annoy the hell out of everybody. Um, we are going to, uh, we'll reveal it. There'll be like the big reveal because uh, also there's going to be a new intro that was made by uh, Dorcas. And Dorcas is in here. Um, Dan. See, I never know if people want me to say their full names because it's just like this, you know, how anonymous do you want to stay on the internet kind of thing. But Dorcas uh, has put together a new intro, which is kick-ass, and um, uh, we're going to be... That's basically where the, the, you'll probably f 
first see the, the, the new logo. We're going to fit that one in there. And, um, I don't give a fuck. Dan Fitzgerald. Uh, Dorcas is Dan. And, um, he has created a new intro. What am I looking at here? Wait, what, what? Um, hold on. Uh, so yes. Well, it's, it's all gonna, and it's gonna hit, and it's gonna be, the new intro features Soli's new extended version of, uh, the, the, the MVG theme, Action vs. Man, that he made. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm, I can't wait, and, uh, it was just, it's just great having the, the logo finalized. Um, it kicks a lot of ass. It, it, it uh, personally, you know, I'm biased, of course, but, uh, it, it's way better than what I have been using, which is essentially this right here. <laughs> That's kind of like my logo. It's just some letters all flat and shit. And, you know, you got the verses. It's a little bit smaller there so we can fit it in the two main entities. It's much better. I'll buy one off you when you're here. John, I will, uh, I will absolutely bring your shirt for free, my brother. Don't even worry about buying it off me. My God. Um... So, uh, and yeah, and, and this is, this is the old, old version. This is actually the version, um, I never did update it, where you can see there are slight curves on the corners of this one. Um, that's always bothered me, and I've kept it that way because the intro that I use also uses the old curved, uh, font. Anyway, the new logo is so much better, and the new, uh, intro is so much better. So, there you go! Tonathan! John! I, the only place I will eat is at the Tenderloin. No. Um, please, dear God, don't take us to the Tenderloin for dinner. Uh, <laughs> actually, you can take us wherever you want, man. Um, and my girlfriend, Tonathan, uh, is asking you, you should totally tell her what size, shape, color, uh, whether you want it moist or sopping. Hey, hey. Let's get in. Is GDC this weekend? God, no. Thankfully, no, 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 no. Okay, um, gotta, I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of a man's mail sack, uh, real quick, and then we'll, I swear we'll get into the game. I know you guys are just like, what is this? This guy just loves to sit here and blather on. Get a podcast already, for goodness sake. Here we go. You've received a gift copy of the game Sequence on Steam, uh, and this is from Africa AIDS. Um, I always wonder, Africa AIDS, are you trying to raise awareness for Africa AIDS? Speaking of which, um, Gaming for a Cure, uh, the League of Extraordinary Gamers, uh, their marathon is going on right now! You can go check it out, it's, uh, twitch.tv slash, hold on, twitch.tv slash gaming underscore four underscore a underscore cure. Uh, and that's going on right now. I think Dan the man himself, Dan's gaming, is going on right now. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, anyway, I gotta get back. So, Africa AIDS has gifted me... Sounds so weird. Uh, gifted me a sequence on Steam. He says, don't know if you want it, but it's basically a computer DDR with awesome soundtrack. I love it already. Um, rhythm games is a genre that I, for some reason, have just not, uh, played a lot of games... ...in. So, Africa AIDS, thank you very much. And what I was going to ask is, like, I, w I always wonder, are you, like, raising awareness for Africa AIDS, or is it just some kind of strange tra -la 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 lolly Um... <laughs> Save your bunnies! That's right! Uh... Okay, uh, let's, um... Indie Royale. Uh... What is this? Oh, I was gifted, um... The Indie Royale, that must have gone on. Because he gifted me before it actually even came out. And I believe that was Mr. Tachi. Yes, Mr. Tachi says, here you go, uh, a blind Royale Indie Bundle. Hopefully you don't have any of the games. So he gifted me this before it was even uh, released. Uh, the Valentine's Bundle, here it is. This is the first I have even seen of what games are in it. Horde. Loom. So Xenoclash, Horde, Loom, Lume, Loom. Um, there's a bonus Soulcaster and Soulcaster 2. So 
Thank you so much, Mr. Tachi. Um, you you freaking you gift me like so many things. It's it's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> from the future. Hmm. Xeno Clash is sick. Horde is the only good game. Oh well, I'm gonna have to. Right there, we have clashing uh, opinions, which is what I think is so funny. They're just life is so spicy. It's like swimming in Zupa all day long. Uh, let me destar that. And that's about all I think we have time for. I've been blathering for almost half hour here. Let's get on. Let's get into the big old... Uh, the reason we're all here. To watch me fail <laughs> some more at Skyrim. I really set the bar pretty low. <laughs> when I... When I th what was it? Yeah, night two when we went into the, uh, the Thalmor Embassy... Sands any kind of equipment whatsoever. Um, anyway, I'm getting in the corner. Let's get it going. Let's get it on. Let's get on! Uh, Steam, there it is. Let's go to my library. Yes, yes. Did I miss anything? Not even 20 minutes of blather! Uh, okay, so Elder Scrolls. We're getting ready to play. Oh, there it is! Such gorgeous, gorgeous art. In this game, I'm going to stop the music nice and awkwardly, and we will play. Got to remember to turn the volume up on this thing. Strange to me that they don't have an option to, you know, for to switch the audio out of whatever 5.1 surround, because I think that's what's going on. Uh, they're putting it in 5.1 surround. I've only got stereo because of the broadcast, and... Um, it's odd. It's an odd thing. <laughs> Flying head with a subtle, uh, almost subconscious, um, what do they call that? I don't know, an ad for uh, Pitfall. I can never think of words. It really annoys me how I get on this cast. I get in front of this webcam, and like my vocabulary just, I get like a fraction of it. This is anyway. Oh, lag, that's not good. The game is amazing. Um, here we go. Get that mouse cursor off of there. <laughs> yeah! Continue, my friends! Yerd. Yerd the Nord. Yerd of the North. Uh, when we left off, we just met... Uh, spoiler, by the way, for anyone who is worried about spoilers. We're only doing the main quest. <laughs> Yerd. Mighty Yud, conqueror of all. So yeah, when we when we left off, we had just met with uh, Parthenax, something like that. He's the leader. Uh, he's the head of the Greybeards. Why oh why did I save it right here? This this is bad. This is bad bad news. Okay, wait wait wait. wait let's. Let's try and, you know, get around this. I would really like to... ...not die. <laughs> That's pretty sheer. That's a pretty sheer cliff face that we've uh, saved ourselves at. Now, if only I had a horse. This would be a grand time. Good. <laughs> yeah. Best way to start it off. Uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna let it, let it go. Just take it easy. Let gravity work for you, not against you. Make it work for ye, not against ye. Uh, whoa, whoa! Get on down. Look at the river down there. I am pretty high up. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy. He's just strutting. Just strut, Yerd. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Down we go. I, I, I at least want to see if I can get down this, this mountainside. I believe you can. I, I've, you know, I, I'm pretty certain that you can get down any, uh, any landscape that they give you. Oh, dead goat! Dead rotting goat carcass up there. Let's go uh, see what's happening there. Okay, where are we supposed to even go? 
because here we are. What's, what's going on with you, goat? What up, goat? Goat hide. I don't think I want it. Okay. Um, you just got to get back to High Hrothgar, I guess. What, what, uh... Elder Knowledge. I met the Master of the Greybeards, the Dragon Parthenox. I was spot on with that, I think. He told me that the ancient Nords used an Elder Scroll to cast Alduin forward in time. They were like... <laughs> Suddenly, Alduin is like, Marty, he's got to get back to the future! Alduin, <laughs> you've got to get back to the future! If I can recover that same Elder Scroll, it's like the Elders... The ancient Nords, yeah. Uh, they're like hanging from the clock tower trying to connect the cables. No! Uh, if I can recover that same Elder Scroll, I may be able to use it to learn the Dragonrend Shout directly from the ancient heroes. Dear Lord. So, optional. Talk to Esbern or talk to Angir. Interesting. I like Esbern. Let's go with Esbern. 1.21 gigawatts! Learn the location of the Elder Scroll. So, uh, let's... Esbern is hanging out in Riverwood, wasn't he? He's got to be, or no. Uh, oh, there there he is. He's Oh, that's right. He's over at the uh the Skyhaven Temple. Word. We're going to fast travel that way. Actually, hold on. Say no. Um Let's uh what do we have? Maybe I could buy another horse? I don't know. I feel like I probably have a bunch of loot on me from somewhere. It's usually what happens. Well, why don't we just take a quick look, shall we? Uh, wait, it's 258. Oh, okay, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. Scroll, I think potions are really what is weighing me down the most. Potions? Silly! Black mage robes. Eh, we could, we could, we could go sell some some items. Let's do it. Slackalicious. Is he? Is he? Is he clowning on me? A jetpack. <laughs> yeah. Um. My horse died. It did. I don't know if you guys saw the. Uh, there was a highlight made. Stupid horse just went running right into like the enemy uh, forsworn village. Died probably almost immediately. Stupid horse! You stupid horse! Chat with an old woman, hmm? No. Do your good deeds You know, this is why nobody talks to you, you old bag. Because you're a bitch about it. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Mmm. Sounds tasty. What have, what have we got here? No thanks. Let's go in the cauldron. Uh, I think we can spare some uh, potions that I will just never use. It will just never happen. I know, you know, people are like, oh yeah, save them. You can use them. No. You look rather pale. Could be attacked. I think I can teach you. No! Don't do that. What have you got for sale? You're interested in my potions and ingredients? Hey, Solace upbringing. Good to see you here. Talk like someone from Jersey. I can't really do it. Uh, because I'm from the Midwest. Potions! Here we are. Blacksmith's Drought. Here's where I don't sell a single thing. Conjurer's Potion? Don't need them. Health, that's good. Fear Poison. What? No. Ice Wraith Essence? Could be kind of nice. See, but none of this. I'd never use it ever. Nern root. Sell all of it. You know what? Sell sell everything. Sell it all. I don't want it. I don't want any of this shit. Uh, brief invisibility. Ooh, that could be handy. That could be really handy, actually. Let's hold on to that one. Destruction. Don't need it. Extra magicka. Don't want it. Haggling. I. My Nord. Uh, whatever. Ho oh, ho! Look at that. 
How ironic is that? Sold the potion of haggling. Speechcraft goes up. Didn't need it. Potion of illusion. Illusions, Michael. I've made a huge mistake. Potion of Minor Magicka. I've got 13 of those babies. Get them out of there! Minor Stamina. We'll hold on to those. Those are... Pfft. Sell them! They're selling them. Don't want them. Resist Cold. Whatever. Nope. Resist Fire. Nope. Stamina. Nope. Nope. Strength. For 300 seconds. Nope. 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 Nope, nope. 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 Uh, <laughs> Job, yes. And you spelled the Job right. I love how it's gob. Nope. No, nope, 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 nope. Oh, don't. No. Oh, you have zero gold. Okay. Well, thank you, lady. Thank you. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Well, whenever you get some gold. Oh, I was selling for zero. That's fine. That's fine. You know, whatever. I, I really was just dropping them off. It's a bit of a bummer to uh, to see that, but um, was there anything else I could sell? Oh yes, armor. Um, what do we got here? What's this? The bannered mare. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. No, 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 no. About oh that's that was him. She has no money. Um, I work with my mother. To sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days. The hard work. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to talk to strangers? Wait, I know you. And? God, people. <sighs> Don't. Uh, Wasting my time. All right, let, let's just quick travel to uh, where we gotta go. I think we're we're fine now. Talk to Esburn. It, it, yes. <laughs> I know. I didn't even have to talk to the old bag. The bitch. Seriously. Oh, come to talk to an old lady. No one's forcing you, you know. Yes, I know that. You ever wonder why nobody likes you? The blood seal. It's pretty wicked. My blood. That's my blood dried up right there. It's pretty gross. <laughs> Aspern. Is there an Aspern in here? Does anybody have any Aspern? I've got a raging headache. The dog, it did look kind of stupid. He looks like a weird, like, wolf mongrel. Like a dog got raped by a wolf, and he was the sad... <laughs> so, apparently the Nords had wonderful, you know, grandmothers that knitted them uh, a nice little throw mat here. It's like, uh, is this the, uh, is this Alduin's wall? This is like, hey, wipe your feet, asshole! Sorry, here we go. Here you go. Now may I enter the temple. Alright. What do we got here? They got a, they got a stew going. They got a feast. Looks like he was a wax mold. <laughs> okay, I'll say that that's probably because of my crappy uh, computer setup. Mace etiquette. We've gotten that. I think we we've already searched everything that we can get here. <laughs> Dova, it doesn't matter. Take your shoes off. There they are. Th there you are! <sighs> boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, boil them, bo boil them, boil them. What's Tatus then, precious? You know, taters. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, boil them, boil them, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them. 
a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. The whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that marked the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning, now it was orange, brilliant orange. The color of hearth and dawn, and a sound too distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter. From what? Then, finally, realization and horror around. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream. But know that it was not. I didn't press a damn thing, oh, I want you to know. Were the Greybeards any help? Wait, hey! Did you know anything about the shout used against Alduin? What are you doing? Finish the story! The hell was that about? Starts skipping over his own uh, story. Well, let's talk to Esburn. Ah, oh, you're back. I hope you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. I'll need an Elder Scroll to get any further. Ah, indeed. And there's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you will find in your local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold. What learning there is in Skyrim is gathered there. One of the mages there <gasps> may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. What are they doing? That is... That's really disappointing. Did anybody else experience this? Is this like, just, did I get like the cheap version of Skyrim or, I mean, this is like the triple A most hyped game probably ever. And this is the main, you know, this is Esbern, uh, one of the main characters. Voiced by, uh, I forget his name, but he's a, he's a huge, you know, very well-known, prominent actor. Um, and, and, and that? How did they release that? You don't, you don't, like, okay, if I'm director of this game, and, you know, I'm sitting here doing a playthrough for, you know, testing purposes, hopefully they did that, and suddenly the main character... Changes voices so, so obviously. I'm like, what happened, sound guy? Hey, did you say something? Uh, I didn't, but uh, let's talk did anyway. You need something? Um. Okay. Goodbye then. Any idea where to find the Elder Scroll? Do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. Max von Snyd Sydow. Yes. Yes. And wow, that is a bummer. I mean, what? Wow, wow. They really need to, like. I would see as a director, like, if it was my call, I would say, you know, hey, if we, you know, miss some lines, we got to see if we can get Max back. Otherwise, just go one or t'other, okay? Because that is so jarring and so bad. <sighs> I'd say if you, if you screwed it up with Max. We're just going to have to pay him and, you know, whatever. Go with the other guy. Anyway. Um, what's so important about me being Dragonborn? Haven't you been paying attention to anything I've said? <laughs> Only you can finally defeat Alduin. Hey, Golden. And avert the end of the world. If we can just find out what this dragon wren shout is, you may have a chance. Or not. There's no guarantee with prophecy. Merely hope. What does it what does prophecy even mean then? Any advice for fighting dragons? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. 
I doubt the blessing's effects will last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. It's, that is so bad. I need that dragon slaying blessing. May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. I still stand by my assessment that the voice acting is quite bad in this game. And not not just like the, the voice acting itself, like like the actors they got. Max von Sido, and I'm probably mispronouncing his name, I'm butchering it every time, but uh He's great. He's an actor, and uh, he, he sounds fantastic. Um, so many of the other voices just really sound stilted to me. And uh, and then you got stuff like this, where you got the the cutting back and forth between two voice actors. Very I just... Wow, that is a huge, huge sort of mark. On uh, again, it's like the game is they 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 work so hard to create this immersive world. It's gorgeous, you know. You got all the you know. Look at the art design. They just went into the you know these textures here. You know, all over the place. The world itself, the mountains, the clouds. It's just gorgeous. And then there's just so many of these little creeping bugs that just creep in, and it's really t it's really too bad. Right, see, Korosha, and I, when I complained about that, um, you know, instantly people were like, well, there's a reason they have different accents, you know, not everybody is from Skyrim, and, you know, and I can understand that, but even, uh, I don't know, even within the, the, the characters and whatnot, you know, like, I don't know, it's really, again, it, it's, it's, it's too bad, I don't know what else they would do, but, it's too bad that they only have, like, one uh, person, you know, one guy represents all the Nord, you know, characters, all the male Nord characters. But, and it can be perfect, you're right, I mean, I, I totally, totally understand that, and it's, you know, I'm... It, it, these are still sort of, like, minor... That's what I mean, they're like minor little things, but it does, it just breaks that, um... Suspension of disbelief. I gotta say though, having one of the main characters... Because they've done it a number of times now, where it's switched back from, uh... You know... Max and this, this other guy. I'm, I'm sure what happened is they, um... I'm sure they, they did, they had Max, they had all the lines they thought they were gonna need. They had him read them, and they were like, great, this is amazing, thank you so much for doing this. Max went on his way, you know, I'm sure he was fairly well paid for his services. And then afterwards, they are just like, oh, shit! We gotta add in uh, some kind of blessing for, you know, the blades to bless your character with. And, um... <laughs> and so then they're just like, what, uh, we gotta just have Jimmy, the, the janitor over here... Do some some line reading, uh, and I remember this place. This is I will always remember this place as this is where I think his voice first started switching back and forth between two voice actors. It's just, mm, mm, I don't know. To me, for the type of game it is, it, this game is completely and totally about immersion. You know role playing it is is really about getting into the world and really just getting into the lore and all, everything and and having <laughs> well there you go and having um one of the main characters voice switch back and forth so many times anyway I'll shut up about it I just keep I have this thing of beating on dead horses Windhelm Winterhold, learn the location of the Elder Scrolls. So we gotta get up to Winterhold. Um, looks like the closest I can get is, uh... Well, there's Dragon's Reach. Uh, Ustengrav. Ustengraven! So maybe we'll, we'll go from there. 
I haven't. Beam is. It's mostly because I just I've been um, shooting for the the main quest. I'm really actively trying to avoid any other uh, you know side quests or whatnot. And I know you know people are like what, which is totally. I fully understand that. Like, well, to me, this is not how you're supposed to play this game. This is um, you know that you. Uh, you're just supposed to get lost in the world, you know, and then and then you know, get back to, um, you know, the main quest line after you've completed, you know, a number of of side missions, and that's my that's way that's the way I think the game, you know, ought to be played, and I'm just actively not doing that because I. Uh, I just want to get. I want to. I want to say. I. I. Whatever. Beat the main quest line. Did it. Done that. And and you know. Get on to a new game. Because I think for the cast. You know. I. Whoa. Oh God. It's a rabbit killer bunny. He must die. Feel the burnination. Of Yerd's manhammer. Damn my stamina. Raza. <laughs> Burn. Raw rabbit leg. Sure. Don't want people to think that uh, I was just poaching. We're just mindlessly killing. Oh. That's an F5 right there, because I don't have anyone with me. Did something just drop dead right in front of me? A dra a dragger. Oh my lord. He's just kind of chilling over there. This could be very bad, very bad indeed. Sidley, you're awesome! Giving away free games in the chat. Oh, it's another blood dragon. How delightful. Why do I get this strange feeling I'm I'm going to be dead? Oh! Oh no, I'm still It didn't even matter! <laughs> I leveled up! Why do I get this strange feeling that we're gonna be sitting here fighting this dragon for a good while? Um Yeah, no shanty shack. Let's, uh, let's take a look at my surroundings here. Where are we at on the map? Out in the middle of freaking nowhere. Is there a cave? Is there a cove? Um, I gotta get my, uh, my shout all ready here. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll keep the whirlwind sprint on, because we just saw how great that worked. Become ethereal. Ah! The one that cannot harm or be harmed. Screw that! Maybe I could go in, beat on his face a little bit, and then, uh, and then, you know, become ethereal. Fire breath. Mmm. I don't know. Inhale air, exhale flame. Behold the thum, as in inferno. I like the fire breath. That's pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Uh, the bunny was a trap! Uh-oh. Being sick. Eddie, no! Being sick does suck, man, and I hope you get better. I hope you just heal. I'm sending out all my healing vibes to you. <laughs> like, I have shit on my hand. Um, sure, let's try fire breath. I'm sure that'll be handy. There he is. Shing, shing, shing. 
Is there anything about that a fella could use for defense? Maybe, you know, we'll look at... Oh, something's going... Hey, there you go! You got random... Uh, ah. You fucker. I can't escape! I can't escape! There's two dragons! Oh my god! What the hell do we do here? Oh god, he's down, he's down. Ow, why me, you dick? Hey, excuse me, dragons, could you fight, please? There's a horse! I see a horse! Oh, live, damn you! Yes! Oh, run, 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 run. We have leveled, so we got that. Can I steal this horse? Tell me I can hop on this horse. Double dragon, yes! I can't, oh man, if I steal it, they're gonna get pissed. Okay, and I, I, I'm a paladin, I just, I can't steal things. I just can't do it. Here you go. Burn, you bastard! Blood dragon, bitch! Oh, get back, get back, get back, get back. Critical strike on the blood dragon. Love hearing that. We burned him. So we got two dragons here. Are they gonna fight or like can they fight, please? Here you go. Can we can we <laughs> beat on him? Critical strike, baby! Keep on striking. Yes! Oof! Oh yeah! I'm so glad these thieves are out here just to help me beat on the dragon. Oh god. Where is there another one? Hey horse, come help me fight. You know you want to join me. Oh boy. This could be good or bad. Yeah, baby! Get in there! Let's let's burn it. Burn you bitch! Come on, you gotta be hitting him. There you go! I think we got him! Uh oh, uh oh! Imperial soldiers, nice. They're my, they're my buddies. Ha! Ha! What happened to the dragon? You're dead. Oh, what? Come on. Blood dragon is dead. There he goes. Beautiful. Well done, fellow countrymen. I may just join the Imperials now. Onyxia raid. Welcome. Hey, Sidley, there's all kinds of dragons. What happened to the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now here's where we get to not take a single thing. Damn, those things are heavy. Gold! Hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Men, you fought bravely here today. It's like the ancient legends, Dragonborn. That's right. Take it all in. I am the Dova. I am the Dova King. Where did it come from? You can see up his skirt there. What's going on there? Sorry about your life, dude. <laughs> he had some bread. Belted tunic. Imperial Bow does 10 damage. No, 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 no. It must have. Yeah, what the hell? Why did the other dragon have to go? I wanted two for one. It was going so well. Uh, where did these guys come from is what I'm wondering. Whoa. Legate Constantius Titulius. I fucking flew in directly Legions from Rome. Always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Hmm. Why would you put your headquarters all the way out there? What's the Imperial Legion doing in Skyrim? Not sure I understand the question. The Legion's always been in Skyrim. We have garrisons throughout all the provinces of the Empire. Our mission is to serve the Emperor, uphold the law, and protect the citizens. Skyrim's days are darkening, and the Legion will soon be called into service like never before. But we stand ready, as always, to meet that call. This is some good voice acting. Uh, this guy's good. 
How do you feel about this war? You mean Ulfric's so-called Stormcloak Rebellion? The Nord Kings, oh, excuse me, Jarls. They can't seem to control their own people, <laughs> so the Legion has stepped in to keep order. Sadly, the Empire's stretched a little thin these days, and we've gotten very few reinforcements. So we've been forced to recruit locally. But rest assured, citizen, we'll put an end to this uprising, and things will get back to normal soon enough. <laughs> I sensed just a, a wee bit of racism there. The Nord Kings, excuse me. <laughs> the Jarls. How does one join the Imperial Legion? Think you've got the medal, eh? Honestly, the Legion can use all the able bodies it can muster. We have our hands full. A dead king, a rebellion, and now dragons. Skyrim's a mess. <laughs> a hot mess. If you're serious. Make your way to Solitude. Our headquarters is Castle Dower. You find General Tullius there, commanding our forces in Skyrim. But talk to Legate Ricca. She handles the local recruiting. Well, I see. Until next time. Well met, and God speed you on your merry, jolly, campy way. Hmm. You got any extra horses? Can I take that one? Can I have this one? Pale Imperial Camp discovered. I... I gotta say, these guys won me over just now with, uh, with all of the help in, uh, oh, oh my, are these, uh, oh no. Be glad you're alive, man. Open the sky, oh, I gotta, I gotta level. You know, well, let's, let's run on, maybe, you know, we might run into another dragon, and, um, oh, wait. Haven't looted his corpse yet. Ha <laughs> ha! Jolly looting! For the win. Hmm. Hmm. Well. So he's just gonna hang out there. <laughs> For the horde. Don't try and get me into Warcraft any more than we, we've already... We've been fighting it. We've been staving it off. I tell you, people are telling me like, "Oh, it's trash now," but I, I still—I've never seen the. Uh, it has always been a dream of mine to see Azeroth from the sky. This is where uh, a giant dragon meteor hit. Follow me. I will teach you much about the history of Skyrim. That's got to be my my prime directive there. That looks awesome. Hmm. The hell is that? Oh, mine the Corundrum Orvane. You know it. Oh, what? What is this silly shit? It is a beautiful game, but silly stuff like that, you got the peaceful, tranquil music playing, I'm just sort of going for a walk about in the old uh, wilderness, you know? And, uh, and of course, somehow I'm in combat. It's, it's bloody brilliant. <laughs> the rock is challenging. I have a pickaxe! I do! I picked up Notch's pickaxe, the, the notched pickaxe, excuse me. Certainly not a reference to Notch of Mojang. Who right now are live streaming the creation of a humble bundle game. How? How am I in combat? Half transparent man, yes. Very I am quite ethereal this evening. Oh, what was that? What am I looking at over there? It's a trap! Oh no, what are, what's what are you guys doing? Say what? I'm a friend! You, you fuck. Ah! Come on, come on. How do you like that? One hit. What are you surly bitches doing out here? Oh, come on. In the face. Uh-oh, insufficient charges. You're lucky. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, damn, 
and now, oh my god, no! I have to go back to the dragon fight. I should have saved. Fucking bitch! I am going to go back and kill her! With a vengeance! Oh my god. I get this strange feeling I lucked out completely with this, uh, dragon... Uh... Ow. Okay, let's get over to the, uh, the Imperial encampment. The double dragon ma- hey, good good call, good call. Oh god, oh god, ow. Wow. Cutting it a little close on that one. Come on, soldiers, where are you at? Where, where are my soldiers at? There you go. Okay, so... Um... I... Must... How's my... Uh, what, what do we have here? Fire breath? Yes? Nope. There you go. Burn, you bastard! Oh, God. Get around to the side. Blood dragon dying. Critical strike! Yes! I'm gonna save it right here because I, I don't want to uh, deal with this. Okay, where is... I want both dragons. Easily. You bastard. Keep blasting him! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Heal it up just a little bit. There we go. Ah! Oh, we got the level, so I gotta remember to, to use that in case of, uh... Whoa! There he is. Burn, you bastard! In the hell! Oh, got him in the face! I think the other dragon just took off. He's just gone. They are hacking, hacking away. Oh boy. Yeah, I think there's only one dragon. That sucks. Slap. Okay, gotta save that stamina. Is he chewing on a horse? No! Who the hell are these guys? Random, uh... The Thalamore Justicars. Wow. There's a whole lot of shit going on up here in the, uh, in the north. Oh, shit. You bastard. Burn! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! What? Bounty added to White Run. This is some stupid shit. Die, you bloody dragon! Critical strike, bitch! There you go. Oh, he is dead. Come on. One more strike. Yes. He's dead. He's totally dead. There you go. Come on. Why is he not dying? There we go. Who the fuck are you bitches? Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. That is some stupid shit. Can I just say for a moment? You asshole. Um Well, it wasn't it wasn't just the Thalmor, it was me. Ow! Fucking get off of me! Uh it was the, the Imperial soldiers as well. I'm gonna heal up. Don't let these guys do their thing. Oh, my shout hit them. Excuse me, I thought we were in a fucking melee. Pardon me if my shout just happened to touch you because you're a moron. Terrible. Where is he? There he is. Of course! Get off of my cock, dragon. Swooping on into the camp. Here he comes to fight to get me again. This is unbelievable. Please. Was that another one I just heard? Was that another dragon? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna level up here. Uh 
uh, need health. Health is good, for especially right now. Um, speech, we got that going on. Um, crap, my two-handed is almost a 50. Uh, yeah, where's the I'm sorry? I'm sorry you got a little burned during a, a freaking melee with a dragon. Um, heavy armor's at 25. Need 40 for more of that. Damn. Well fitted. That requires 30. Damn it. Uh, the block requires 40. Deflect arrows. Um, power attacks with two-handed weapons cost 25% less stamina. Nice! I think we can get that. Requires 20? What the hell? I thought I'd gotten that before. Hmm. Well, yeah, definitely getting that then. Or do we already have it? Oh, we already have it. I'm a dumb fucking... Shithead sometimes. Um, <laughs> you have it. Restoration. Heavy armor. Blocking. Hmm. Well, I, I guess I'll just have to stow it. I'm going to save that perk. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually save it right there because, um... This is, uh, this is exactly why I'm just kind of burning through the main quest. Not really worrying about side quests and whatnot. Um... Bethesda, you make it hard to play your games. I want to go on a bit of a rant right now. Um, we're gonna take we're, we're gonna take a little bit of a break uh, after this little rant. I want to say something. I've been a fan of Bethesda's uh, Elder Scrolls series since uh, Morrowind when I first played it on the Xbox, and um, even back then. Even back uh, playing Morrowind and Oblivion, my friend and I, uh, my good friend uh, Dopehead Dick, he, uh, we used to hang out all the time. We used to exchange stories like, oh, this crazy thing happened in Morrowind. I found this crazy whatever armor. It's awesome. Um, but then our stories, as we you know went through the game, our stories kind of changed to where it was us exchanging stories of like whatever the shitty glitch was that we ran into um and my my buddy dick he uh he lost he uh unfortunately lost an entire game save i forget i don't remember what happened there but somehow it just like his game save just went just just totally disappeared um i uh had a number of issues just with um uh like the the loading times became crazy the, the crashes, the buggies, the, the yeah, crafting, that's kind of what I'm getting at here. We, as gamers, need to stop supporting companies that release these buggy fucking messes. Um, and I realize, again, that the, what the, you know, the scope, you have to admire Bethesda for the scope of the games they're making, but I'm sorry, maybe they need to just rein it in a little bit. You know, until you can figure out what, you know, all these bugs and, you know, I don't even want to talk about, like, the PS3 version. I, uh, I was actually, the, the, the PS3 version of Skyrim was, uh, donated to me by Drake Onk, and that's really one of the main reasons I'm, I'm wanting to play through this game. I didn't even want to try playing the PS3 version because I have heard that it is just absolutely horrible. Um... You could make a statement by refusing to finish Skyrim. <sighs> I don't know if I could sit with that. I just wanna, I just wanna like beat it and and kind of be done with it and uh, and just get on to the next, you know, bigger and better game. 
but uh, I have the PS3 version here, and I just I had to play the you know the computer version, the PC version, which has you know worked out so much better apparently. Um, hopefully that. Why did I quit? Because somebody explained to the cursed ones. Um, I quit because Bethesda thought it was about time for me to quit. They thought that. Uh, whoa! Don't do that. Oops, wrong controller. Don't be... Why is... What? Hold on. Hold on! I gotta do something here. That is really weird. Okay, there we go. Um, Weird. I should, I should I should go back retro. I know I know I still have um Spelunky to get back to. Wow, what the hell happened here? Um we're, we're going to take a quick uh break here if uh somebody could handle ads and um thank you again people who support the channel uh, and Twitch TV, you know. Really, I... Twitch is fine, okay? Thank you for supporting me. Uh, <laughs> and, um... I will be right back. I'm gonna get, uh, maybe... Some water. Uh, I'm gonna try and cool off a little bit. That is really annoying. Just having a, a game crash like that. Um... Hopefully we can get through the game. So that's my new, uh... So uh, I'll I'll be uh, I'll be right back. Thank you again. We'll 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 give me like two minutes, and we'll continue on.
<laughs> Sidley, you're crazy. Crazy awesome. Turns down a bit. Um This is music from Skyrim. This is Skyrim music. Um now, I want to say... Well, first I want to just wait to see if we're clear. Um, by the way, did were there any ads played at all? Did, did anyone play ads? I didn't even see... Because um, I was talking with Tonathan during the break. Son of a bitch. No ads. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Is there anyone in here? Is, is there anybody that could run ads? Nobody? Hmm. I have to, I have to go back to my, my little scrippy script. Um, I just sort of, I sort of started assuming that, that I had uh, enough editors to, to do it. Um, I, yeah, I didn't know either. Um, I can't buy that fucking car now. Shit! I know! Um, what was I gonna say? Um, where did I thought Chromes was in here earlier? Damn it! Damn! Um. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the music. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I admit my computer is not the greatest. It's it's a the gateway. I've never really loved it. Um, it has a fairly decent uh, graphics card in there. Um. The, uh, I have no mods. This is a, a clean install of Skyrim. Uh, I've really never had, uh, any other game crash on me like that. Uh, when I'm trying to, you know, save, do like a quick save. Um, yeah, where is Visual Sights? Um, Visual, I, I will gladly uh, make you an editor. Let's see here. Let me, uh, I'm going to refresh this page. We... Mm hmm Because apparently, I don't have enough! <laughs> I also thought, and another thing is, uh, I, uh, I never know if Duff Man is in here anymore. Oh, it is Friday! He doesn't get to watch the Friday cast, because he has to work. Um, uh, it's an NVIDIA. The one, the video card in this computer is uh, NVIDIA. They're actually both NVIDIA. I, I don't... I couldn't tell you the models. Um, why, why, why? How do I get to the, the dashboard or whatever? Let me... Uh, let's see. Dashboard. Uh, Twitch.tv slash... Not really sure how... That works. Oh, the page doesn't exist. How do you get to the dashboard? Let me get there. Thank you. Visual. He's there with the link. Beautiful. Um, visual sites. That's him. I'm going to add him. Visual, you are now among the elite team of editors here. Um, so we have Breep. Bushwick, Chatia, Crumps, Duff Mana, Mournless, Tonathan, and Visual Sights. Wonderful. Glad to have you aboard. <laughs> what kind of mic do I use? Uh, this is a Radio Shack. Costs about $27. Some people have said that it's not the same mic. I don't know what other mic they sell. I didn't, I didn't know they had like two models of cheap ass headset mics. But this is a, this, it's a, it's Radio Shack. About 27 bucks at Radio Shack. Uh, hmm. Well, let me close these here. And uh, let's get back into the game, shall we? Uh, <laughs> it just, it, wow, it just like crashed completely. Just crash and burn, baby. It is preparing to launch the Elder Scrolls. So that's good. We got that going on. <laughs> it is the brand name, yes. It does seem to work very well. I think a, a big 
a very important aspect of headset mics or head worn mics is microphone placement. Um, getting it very near your mouth, yet not in the way of um, air coming out, because then you get the, the P and B explosions. Anyway, yeah, and I just grabbed a beer, because, uh... Let's see, can we stop the... Stop the music! You fucking asshole. Now I gotta go here, and it's probably gonna crash again! Stop. You ass. Skyrim, down to the corner, logo gone. Things gonna work out perfectly this time. Wonderful. <laughs> you could be talking into a potato! I should try talking into a potato for a cast. Okay, need a little bit of beer. Yeah, no kidding. This, just feel free to run ads whenever you feel. No. <laughs> I'll probably have to urinate very soon. Yeah, this is on the PC. Goofy moon shields, yes, or no, it's uh, goofy dream shields. Let's see if it saved where I wanted it to save. That'll be interesting. I get this strange feeling. Uh, is it American beer? Yes, it is Henry Weinhardt's Blue Borer Irish-style pale ale. I think it did. Uh, I believe it did. Yep. Wow. So at least it saved. At the very least, it did save. Just die! There he goes. Yeah, finally... Oh god damn Where where's the where's the quick load button? Is it is it F6? That is the dumbest thing. It's the dumbest thing ever Is it F O F9? Thank you! I thought he was going to run away now. Go ahead and just, you know... Hey, hey, hey! Dragon! That's good. Oof! Off the roof! Terrible! Well, the thing is, I'm not going to have a bounty on my head just because I accidentally shouted in some... Idiot, you know, got in the way. Oops, oops, oops. There you go. Mm, Dova King. Keep whacking him. Critical strike. He's dead. Die, you mother. Yes. Oh, yes. You know what? F. Five. The F stands for fuck. Unbelievable. So I think we had one Imperial soldier die. <sighs> it is on master difficulty, yes. <laughs> Steel arrows had no gold on him. Take it all in, boys. Uh, yes. Until it becomes a Dracolich! Um... Search this mother. Steel arrows. Quite a, a few of those. Dragon scales. Flawless garnet. Nice! Better loot this time! I, you know what? I, I, I hope, I, I'm just gonna have to start quick saving it every five seconds now. Is the w the way I feel. So that's that's beautiful. We got the Imperial soldiers out here. Let's let's continue on. 
Anyone dead out here? Got blood on the snow. Pretty wicked. Steal the horse. <laughs> yeah. And just ruin it, all of it. Oh, and the, somewhere out over here, this is, yeah, this is where the Thalamore assholes are or were. And then everyone hated me. That's uh, that's awesome. That is pretty cheese ball. Like you know, there's got to be a setting where, or what what really should be the default, I guess, for me is uh, when you're in like a melee. You know, maybe there's some kind of um, some kind of uh, you know, if if there's a certain number of of. Um, Uh, entities taking part in a in a battle then the the sort of like auto switch you know if you hit somebody accidentally then you know it won't do this fucking thing where you know you 